Welcome to the Tennessee Bible Museum in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We've been open for about three months now, and one of the things we're going to feature today is the Gutenberg Bible. We have a reproduction of the Gutenberg Bible because, in reality, there's only 49 copies left in the world of the Gutenberg Bible. Twelve are in the U.S., the rest are in Europe and in, in all mostly uh, institutions. The value of these Bibles is astronomical. Just one page of the Gutenberg now, one page if you can find it, because the Bible is fragment over time and there's pages left. So one page goes for auction fifty to $100,000 and the whole Bible hasn't sold since 1987 and that was only a half a volume. There's two volumes to the Gutenberg Bible and it's a large folio Bible. It's estimated if one came up for auction today, it would be in the hundreds of millions of dollars. We have a reproduction press here also, and we have a re the best reproduction of the Gutenberg that was done in the 1960s in Germany. And it's a leather-bound set. It looks just like the original. But this is a reproduction press at one-third scale of Gutenberg, what he would print on, a primitive-looking thing. Can you imagine printing the first Bible in this? He did 180 copies, approximately, of the two volume Gutenberg Bible, a large folio edition. It took him uh, several years to produce that. The Gutenberg Bible, it was printed in Latin in Mainz, Germany. Of course, Gutenberg used lead typeset, metal typeset, sort of like this typeset here. This is in English. Of course, he printed his Bible in Latin. The very first Bible that Gutenberg printed was in Latin. So this is English typeset, but it's so heavy. It's, uh, can you imagine the average page of a Gutenberg Bible has 2,500 different characters on that page. And so if you were to take this, uh, this typeset and just throw it on the table here, and I would tell you to put it into different words, or like a Bible page, how long that would take. So you can see the amount of work just in one page it took to typeset a page of the Gutenberg Bible. 